Praise God. Welcome back to the GodManMovie.com. Let's get busy. Let's get in the Word of God. I am so excited, man. God visited me last night in a dream, and he created this wishing well. And I was sitting down at the wishing well, and I was like, God, uh, like we talked about in Luke 18.5, why haven't you answered me, Lord? And I don't want you to know if you've had some unanswered prayers. If you've been praying and crying out to God, say, Lord, why? Why did this happen? Why did these things happen? I want you to keep praying, glory to God. Go with me now to the book uh, of Genesis 30. I want to show you the secret of the shadow of the Almighty. Like John, like, like Psalms 91 said, I listened to the Bible all night. I got this audio reverse. And I listened to the Bible. You need to get the you need to buy you a CD that has audio reverse and put the CD on the Bible and listen to it all night. And you wait. You wake up the next day, your spirit will, your batteries will be charged. All seven batteries will be charged, and you'll hit the button, and I will spring Jesus. Hallelujah. Because the word is mightily in me, Gloria. So mightily grew the word and prevailed in me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel the spirit. Glory to God. So God, God revealed this dream to me last night. Hallelujah. April the 25th, 2016, God came to me in a dream, and it was like a wishing well. And he said to me, he said, take the people to the wishing well. Take the people to the shadow of the Almighty. Take the people to the well. There's a, there's a, there's a parable about a man. He had been at this, this, this pool and where, where the angel came and troubled the water and sent out a signal and a reflection. 38 years he was there. But people don't, didn't see what happened. And Jesus said to the man, wilt thou be made whole? And then the man remembered all the times he was trying to jump in the water. But... But somebody got ahead of him. Glory to God. And if you've been too late, you're not too late. You did, This is no coincidence. You listen to this message. Glory to God. Step into the shadow of the Almighty. Glory to God. For only uh, $29.95, I'm going to send you a DVD and three tapes. And glory to God, you need to get that pillow. When you lay on that pillow, it's called the God-Man movement. And then when you see in John 10, Jesus says, Didn't I say you are gods? And then in... The seventh chapter of Exodus, didn't God say to, to, to Moses, I have turned you into a God to, Mo, to Pharaoh? Glory to God. Meaning when the Holy Spirit's in you, you can do God type things. Glory to God. And in the book of um, Psalm 68, it says, isn't it written in your law that you are God? That's why the Jewish people are so powerful. Because when the Spirit of God gets on them, glory to God, when, when Gideon was fighting the war, God made the moon, the sun stand still to give him more light, glory to God. And I'm telling you, when you begin to pray, Jesus, the Son of the living God, will stand still and help you in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Now watch this in Genesis 30, verse 33. So my righteousness will answer for me in the time to come. When the subject of my wages comes before you, everyone that is speckled and spotted among the goats and barren and among the lambs will be considered stolen. It is with me. And Laban said, oh, that it were according to your word. Listen, so he removed that day the male goats and the speckled and the spotted. All of the female goats that were speckled and spotted, everyone that had white on it. This was the old ones. Watch this. This was the old ones, right? Watch this. Everyone that had some white in it and all the brown ones among the lambs and gave them into the hand of Laban's son. Now watch this. How did he create something that was not there because of the power of the Holy Spirit? Watch this. Glory to God. Now Jacob took for himself rods. Then he put three days journey between himself and Jacob and God fed the rest of Laban's flocks. Now Jacob took three uh, for himself rods of, of green poplar of the almond almond and chestnut trees peeled white stripes in them and exposed the white which was in the rods and the rods which he had peeled he set before the flocks in the gutters now there was water and just think of the little tree branches behind the gutter like this tree right here so every time if you would drink water and get hungry and thirsty and see this tree pretty soon you'll see this red tree because you're conceiving when you drink and you're thirsty and you're hungry. So if every day when you're hungry, before you eat dinner, pray and read God's word. You watch. What happens is you conceive it quicker because your, 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 your spirit door opens to conceive. Your, your spirit door opens to conceive. And I'm going to prove it to you because in, 
Luke 1, the Bible says the angel came to Mary, and Mary, Mary, in Luke 1, I think 48, she said, how can this be when I've seen not a man? And the angel, God, speak to him, he said, the Spirit of the Lord shall come upon you, and the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you, and you shall conceive a son, and his name is Jesus. Glory to God. See, 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 the Holy Spirit will come on you. A lot of people got the Holy Spirit, but it hasn't overtaken them like a shadow. Glory to God, like Psalms 91. These are revelations. You must get this revelation. So when you pray and wait on the Lord, the shadow of the Almighty, the seven spirits that God released into this earth, Revelation chapter 5, verse 6, to comfort you, to activate your wells. It's happening right now. As you listen to me, the Spirit of God is activating your well. Like in John 5, when he said, in you, glory to God, he told the woman at the well, will be a fountain springing up into everlasting life. Glory to God. Why? Because she was standing in front of the reflection. Jesus was on the well. And she said, are you greater than my grandfather Jacob? And something happened when I heard that. I was listening to the Bible, and I said, oh, my God. That's the same well that Jacob was talking about. The watch in the water trough. Oh, this is some good stuff, man. I'm like full of joy. Hallelujah. It says, expose the white which was in the rods. And the rods which he had peeled, he set before the flocks in the gutters. In the watering troughs. In the watering troughs. In the well. See, we got a faucet. So we've never had to dig for a well. So we don't realize the power of having a well on our house. Because then we ain't got to pay the city. If you dig a well on your house, you got free water. Unlimited, clean, tasty water. Just put a machine on it to take all the, the, the dirt out. Glory to God. And you got this clean, tasty, mountain, mountain water. That's how Jesus is. He's clean and tasty. Hallelujah. Oh, you won't worry no more. You won't be afraid. You won't be defeated because that clean, tasty water will get down. Oh, and satisfy your soul like a chocolate sundae. Glory to God. Like a, like a water on a thirsty day. Glory to God. That's what happens when you read the Bible and pray with the Holy Spirit. Many people read the Bible, but they don't have the Holy Spirit that activates the Bible. That's the difference. Glory to God. Because they never conceived it. The Bible said, in you will be a fountain springing up into everlasting life. He literally changed the woman's conception of those five husbands she had been with. Glory to God. And literally deposited in her a new conception, a new imagination of him. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Glory to God. Um, It says, in the watering troughs, verse 38, where the flocks came to drink, where the flocks came to drink, wherever you're drinking from, glory to God, is a result of who you are right now, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.